All right, uh, Captain Clueless here. Uh, I'm going to do my first video tutorial. Um, this is a tutorial on installing an engine block heater in a 2005 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, mine is a TRD off-road, don't think that matters. Uh, this is the V6 and it is the non-frost plug type. Uh, so basically what you're going to be doing is you get a cartridge this plugs into the heater block, this end goes into the heater block, this plugs into the cable, which is here, and then this will hang off the front end and you plug that into the power receptacle. Uh, you also get a bunch of zip ties and instructions, which mine came for a Lexus. Uh, maybe they use the same engine, but um, as far as routing the cable, those instructions aren't going to do me any good because I don't own a Lexus. Um, so anyway, um, basically what you want to do first is get everything out. Um, there are some links on the internet of people who have done this before and have shown pictures. Uh, so what I was going to do was put links on them in the description so you'll be able to see those down below. Um, I brought my laptop out here in case I need to reference anything, um, but pretty much uh, everything you need is in the box. Uh, as you can see, I have the truck up on jack stands, or uh, I'm sorry, ramps, and uh, I read that it was easier to do it this way. Uh, I also have it up on uh, some jack stands underneath it in case the ramps decide to fail. I don't think they will, but you can never be too careful. Um, so first thing is pop the hood, obviously. And what you're going to want to do is come over to the side by the battery and the place where you're going to plug it in is pretty much, you can see that, that little empty circle there and that, uh, I believe that's an oxygen sensor. The place you're going to be plugging this in is actually right basically down towards the ground on the block um, right in line with that empty hole um, it's hard to show without the camera flash on but uh, if you get up underneath the truck which I'll do in this in a second you'll be able to see this a little better I think I can see the indentation from here. Let's see if I can move this in a little better. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I can try. The hardest part is getting a light. There. Okay. So I've got the light basically centered right now. You can see there's like a little, almost like a place where a clip would hold on. The hole where the um, cartridge is going to insert into is that. And then the clip clips over that little thing that sticks out. So um, I'll get up under the truck and show you where that's at and come back in a second. All right, first thing you want to do before you get under the truck, actually, is uh, you want to prep uh, everything. So what you're going to do is, um, oh, you also get this uh, uh, grease-like stuff uh, that you're going to slather all over this part of the cartridge. Don't put it in here that's where you'll put dielectric grease. Uh, you want to slather it all over the shaft, ha ha shaft, of the cartridge. So, okay, so basically I just took some of the dielectric grease and put it on the terminals where the plug is going to plug into, and then I'll plug that in. Excuse me. Plug the cable into it, and then I can fish it down to about where it's going to sit on the, uh, engine block so that I can get to it from underneath. So I will come back and show you how to do that. Okay, I've got the plug plugged in. I've got it unwound, as you can see. Plugged in, and what I'm going to do is put this 
in the engine bay and try to fish it down to about where I think uh, I'm going to need it to sit for when I'm done. I'll put the plug up here for now and I'm going to fish this down. I want it to go around behind the exhaust manifold. This is hard to do when you don't have a ladder. I'm gonna go try and find a ladder, so I will be right back. Okay, found a ladder, and that'll let me get up here a little bit easier so I can fish this down around the exhaust manifold a little bit better, because I want it to be on the other side. So that's pretty good right there because uh, where I'm going to clip it in is right above where it's sitting right now. You can kind of see where it's sitting. So now I'm going to get underneath the truck and uh, show you what to do under there. Okay, uh, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to plug it into the wrong hole. The hole you want to plug it into this one right here above this these two bolts not that one that one is nothing this is the one you want to plug it into so don't spend half an hour like me trying to figure out why it won't go in okay so much easier when you try to plug it into the right spot um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was that top hole but that is just a casting hole or something I believe uh, this is what it will look like when you are done you can see the little clip goes on this side clips right in you'll know when it clips and I had I had already plugged in the plug part so uh, to make it a little easier on myself and that's it then you just route the cable and put the plug where you want it and you're good to go so that's it for my first tutorial hope you enjoyed it and I hoped it hope it helped you install the cartridge style block heater for your Toyota Tacoma this is Captain Clueless signing off okay so That's where it goes uh, when you're done. That's what it'll look like. And then I just routed the cable up along the firewall. I gotta clip the zip tie still. And I actually clipped it into where the wire harness uh, clips in also. And then this is what I have it looking like on the front. Zip tied it to the um, vertical post on the uh, uh, lower grill trim piece and put the cap on. And now all I got to do is get a, a timer, which I'm pretty sure I already have. So there you have it.